Here's something really bizarre. Some of you are experiencing high blood sugar on a carnivore diet and a keto diet and you have no clue why. Let's get into it. Welcome everyone to my very humble channel where I have a puppy lying on my toes munching on a beef cow knuckle or no it's not a knuckle it's a, it's a knee joint kneecap something like that so forgive the scratchy grinding noises now why are some people experiencing high sugar on high fat and people believe this. They believe that the fat is spiking their blood sugar. Now, indirectly, that could be true. But why is that? Well, let's break down some of the reasons why you could be experiencing high blood sugar eating high fat. I mean, typically, it's protein that spikes your blood sugar. See, fat does not incite insulin. Carbs do. Too much protein does. You have a insulin response when the blood sugar spikes to carbs that makes sense to protein believe it or not that makes sense because excess protein that is not utilized converts back into glucose and it can do it quite quickly the problem with trying to eat a huge ribeye or a bunch of protein and having it convert back into glucose is that a lot of you don't have good GLUT4 receptor development, which means you're not muscular, you don't have enough lean mass, your metabolism is, is pretty much inflexible, deranged, and you cannot uptake that glucose and use it as energy. That's most people. Now, for the athletic people or the younger people or young guys, they fare much better at eating a lot of protein and then utilizing it as energy not glycogen but energy instead of storing it as fat but the rest of the population honey child that protein converts back into fat on your belly people we're not talking about the protein but the fat is spiking blood sugar because you probably are consuming something that is creating a histamine response this is a big huge problem you hear that people are eating butter it's lovely it tastes much better than tallow which tastes like wax and lard now if you're getting lard in a jar from the store like there's the epic brand there's us wellness meats there's fatworks.com there's amazon there's all these there's a local store that sells lard it's more waxy now the fat from pork belly bacon that's divine and it's more like butter it's got a creamy texture to it but I digress if you have histamine intolerance mast cell activation nine times out of ten your blood sugar can skyrocket on fat now that's not the fat itself that's not the fatty acids that is not the fatty acid profile breakdown of mono poly and saturated fats or even MCTs or LCTs, that is because you are having a histamine response. And people are so confused about this. They're like, fat makes your blood sugar spike. No, it don't. This is a absolute nonsensical, non-scientific, garbled nonsense. Get a glucometer, test your blood sugar around the foods that you're eating, vegetables, fats, proteins. Then you will learn. I feel like people forget the whole purpose of being in ketosis. Ketosis is derived from, well, we could say it like this. Keto, K-E-T-O, is short for ketone. And a ketone is a unit of fat. Not a unit of, unit of amino acids or protein. It's a unit of fat from your body fat or from the dietary fat. This can be used as energy all over the body every cell and in the brain how's that going to make you diabetic that doesn't make any sense the reason why you get fat eating fat is not the fat 
It's because you're not managing your blood sugar from stress or fasting, poor sleep, or falling off the wagon or too much protein. And when your blood sugar is high, you store everything that's in the blood via insulin. Fat does not make you fat. Just I need to throw that in there. But if your blood sugar is spiking because of histamine, that's the problem. Or the second reason is your gallbladder is jacked, meaning not as in muscular, but it's not working properly. There's either sludge or stones. If there's cholesterol backed up into the gallbladder and it starts forming sludge or stones, that can spike your blood sugar and it can skyrocket your blood sugar. So it's never just the fat molecules. It's not the fatty acid profile. It is the fact that your body's not functioning properly. So you may not have the digestive enzymes like lipase or stomach acid to break down the fat. And then your gallbladder is junked up and your blood sugar spikes because anything that's stressful, and I mean anything, spikes the blood sugar. Yeah. Or histamine. You're eating butter. You, you can't tolerate butter or lard or tallow. Some people can't tolerate certain animal fats. Uh, has it been sitting out on the counter, oxidizing with bacteria growing on it? Now, fat does not oxidize as quickly as proteins sitting out on a countertop, but it still oxidizes, that can spike your blood sugar. So I hope this clears up the confusion of why people are finding themselves, and this is a very small population, but finding themselves with high blood sugar, eating fat, and they're confused. They're like, I thought I was supposed to burn fat and get into ketosis. You are, but everyone is different. Everybody's got different issues. And that's why I do these videos is to break the shite down so to as to make it make sense if you guys want to learn more go to stephanieperson.com you can book a consultation if you feel like you're struggling confused don't understand macros or thyroid that's a whole video i'm like saving myself because that's so much work to present to show you that if you have a thyroid then all of these supplements and elixirs and potions and pharmacological interventions are a scam. And just saying. And a lot of people develop thyroid issues on carnivore or they have an underlying thyroid issue. They don't get into ketosis. And then they're like, I lost 60 pounds. So Y'all get confused and bamboozled very easily on these diets. So be very careful. Comment below. Let me know if you're having a high blood sugar reaction or gallbladder reaction or heartburn, histamine, heartburn to fat, heartburn, histamine, low stomach acid, hypochlorhydria, low lipase. There's a reason for everything. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Just you haven't been presented the right information. Just do carnivore, eat meat. You're going to be great. Not true. It's way more complicated than that. Comment below, or you can sign up for my monthly subscription course, which is pennies on the dollar at $15 a month, or you can just wait for my 30 day challenge coming soon. And I'm out because this dog's chewing on a beef knuckle on my foot and my damn horse is driving me nuts. I can hear him outside scraping his face on the temporary fence I put outside. Let's see if I have a video to prove it. And I'm out. Energy 56, peace.